Okay, so the last form of uh, loci is the perpendicular bisector loci, where this z and this z is your variable complex number and z naught is your fixed complex number and z1 is your fixed complex number so what you need to know is that every time you have a uh, an equation in this form where you have two variable complex numbers minus uh, a fixed complex number both in a modulus this is a perpendicular bisector loci so first let's sketch for let's um, have an example let's say we have z minus i equals to z minus 2 plus 3i the first step is writing this down in standard form so this would be z minus i in the bracket and z minus in the bracket 2 minus 3i so the fixed points are i and 2 minus 3i so i would be somewhere here this is i and 2 minus 3i so 2 on the real axis and minus 3 this is over here this point is minus 3i so once you've plotted the two points you join them together not not to scale but this is how it's supposed to be done then you can you basically construct the perpendicular bisector of the line from O level math we know how to draw the perpendicular bisector on the line you place the com uh, you place your compass on one point you draw two arcs one over here one over here you place your compass over here you draw another arc and then you join the two but this is definitely not a perpendicular bisector but you get the point how it's supposed to be done and this angle is supposed to be 90 degrees Now let's say if the question was something like there was an inequality in between let's say we had to shade the region that satisfies this inequality so a very simple way to do this is you take any point let's say you take this point 2 2 plus 0 i and then you play uh, um, you basically place it in, uh, replace it replace z with this point so this point is 2 plus 2 minus i let's see if this is greater than in a modulus this is supposed to be greater than 2 minus 2 plus 3i so this would be a uh, modulus of 2 minus i is going to be root 5 and this would be this gets cancelled this gets cancelled root of 9 so this would be 3 and root 5 is 2.23 rough so this is not uh, greater than 3 so this means that the region that we're looking for is this one and if you want to satisfy uh, you, if you want to be on a safer side and want to be completely sure so let's take this point 2 plus 2i so this would be 2 plus 2i minus i greater than 2 plus 2i minus 2 plus 3i so this would be 
2 plus i greater than Five i. Oh wait, this is not two plus two i. This is two minus two i. So this would be two minus three i. This is also two minus two i. This would be just i. So the modulus over here will be root thirteen. The modulus over here is going to be simply 1. So this does satisfy the inequality. So we are sure that it's this region that we have to shade. So this is how you solve inequalities for the perpendicular bisector loci. Uh, this is not completely drawn to scale. Basically, you'll, obviously, you'll use uh, uh, compasses and uh, rulers to make sure um, you draw it perfectly. Uh, because the perpendicular bisector all needs to have a 90 degrees angle when it intersects the line. So this is everything about complex numbers. Uh, hopefully uh, we'll see if we'll be able to do a couple of questions for complex number. But this is it. This is all there is uh, in complex number. If you have any questions, please uh, leave, leave them down in the comments below.